Hey everyone, today we're going to show you how to divide by two digit numbers using a really efficient method. Quick disclaimer, this isn't going to work if the two digit number is a prime number and you'll see why shortly. So we're dividing by 18 here. 18 is quite tricky to divide by. We could do long division. We could write down our 18, the multiples of 18 down the side of our page. It's going to take us a while. Here's a shortcut. 18 has factors. 1 and 18 is the first factor pair. They multiply together to give you the product 18. We also have 2 and 9. And we also have 3 and 6. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to swap the 18 out for a factor pair. So instead of dividing by 18, we're actually going to divide by, let's pick the factor pair 3 and 6. We're going to divide by 3 and then we're going to divide by 6. Dividing by 18 is the same as dividing by 3 and divided by 6. We know this because they are factors. Once we've done this, actually, our answer should be quite simple. We know our 3 times table goes in twice, exchange over 2. 3 into 26 is 8 with 2 left over. 3 into 24 is 8. So we have 288 now. And the final step, we've done this, we're going to divide by 6. So bus stop once more, divide by 6, into 2 don't go. 6 into 28 are 4 times with 4 left over. And 6 into 48 is 8. The answer is 48. Much simpler, especially if you have mastery of your times tables. You might be thinking, why is there a big rectangle at the bottom? Well, I'm going to show you why this works. So dividing by 18 is the same as we said, dividing by 3 and divided by six. Well, I'm going to split my hole here into three. I'm gonna go horizontally. So I've split that hole into three parts. Not quite equal because my lines aren't straight, but you can see three parts there. And then I'm going to split vertically into six parts. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and then six has been created at the end. I divided that box by three, then I divided it by six. So can you tell me now how many equal parts are there all together in that, in that rectangle? You're right, there are 18. So what we've proven is by using factors, we can answer these questions more quickly. If your number you're dividing by has a factor pair that's going to help you out because you know those times tables, then just split it up. Let's try another question and see if it works. So the next one we've got here is 3,834 divided by 27. Well, same thing you've got to do, guys. You'll be thinking, what are the factors of 27? Well, we have 1 and 27, always. Is it a prime number? Are those the only factors we have? Remember, a prime number has two factors. No, this isn't prime, so this is going to help us out. We know that 3 multiplied by 9 is 27 as well. And those are actually the only four factors we have for this number. So our mind has been made up. We're going to divide by 3. And then we're going to divide by nine. So let's do it. 3,834. Hopefully this is easier than listing your 27 times table and doing long division. Uh, one, and then we have two lots in there, two left over. Then we have seven lots with two left over. And we have eight. So halfway through our question now, we're going to take the answer, 1,278. And we're going to divide that by nine. Nines into one don't go. Nines into 12 is once with three remaining. Nines into 37 is four times. So that's 36 with one left over. 19 to 18 is 2. We have the answer super quickly. That's why it's important to know our times tables. We can make these questions 10 times easier. Now, we have another rectangle. I'm going to prove it to you again. We're going to divide it into nine parts across the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines gets us nine going vertically. Please, please forgive me for the mess. And then across, we're going to divide by three. One, two and then three at the bottom we should have 27 individual squares that's how we divide by two digit numbers that aren't prime it's not going to work if it's a prime number then we have one more example so this isn't a prime number 64 has loads of factors and we could start listing them out here we obviously know that we could do 1 and 64 pretty obvious we could also do 2 and 32 we could also do 4 and 8 and we could also uh, sorry, not eight. What am I talking about? Four and 16. And we can also do that's eight. Eight special. There's only one factor, even though it's a factor pair, because we multiply it by itself. 64 is a square number. Now, here's the thing we could spend all day here trying to think of a factor pair. Two and 32 wouldn't help because we still have to divide it by uh, 32. We don't know 32 times tables. We could divide by eight and then divide by eight again. Well, we already know how to do that. And we could get the answer quite quickly, but I want to show you something cool. There's no need to stop breaking up the numbers there. Let me show you what I mean. We've got 64. We've split it into divide by 8, divide by 8. 
we could actually go again, couldn't we? We could do eight into divide by four and divide by two. That's the same. And then divide by eight at the end. Do we have to stop there? No, we don't. We could change four into divide by two, divide by two, divide by two. That's the same as this eight here. We have another eight. Well, let's do the same again. Divide by two, divide by two, divide by two. My goodness. So the point I'm making here is we don't have to stop at two factors. If you split into two factors and you find actually one of the numbers is still tricky, maybe you chose 32, you can split that up again. And actually we keep going until we get to what are called the prime factors of a number. Every single number that exists has prime factors. 64 has one, two, three, four, five, six prime factors. We cannot split two up any further. If we to split up two, we just split it into one times two and we still have the two and dividing by one isn't gonna help us at all. So once we've got to the prime factors, you notice here actually to divide by 64, we can just halve our number six times. So I'm gonna use my box to prove this instead of drawing up the squares now. So we have 1,216, let's divide it by two. So that's 608, cool. Then divide it by two again, 304, let's cross it off. Divide it by two again, 152, let's cross it off. Divide it by two again, we're gonna have 76, cross it off. Divide that by two again, we're going to have 38, cross it off. <laughs> we're gonna do one more halving. 38 divided by two is 19. We've done that mentally. We have answered 1,216 divided by 64 is equal to 19 and we did it in our heads because we know now that if we're dividing by a big number, two digits or more, and it has factor pairs that help us out and it's not prime, we can split that number up. Hopefully guys, you find this has helped you with your division and if you've got bigger numbers, you're gonna be keeping an eye out now if you can break it down into smaller ones using factors. Hopefully this has been helpful and we'll see you next time. Thanks guys.